Bart Vail against Murakami Kazunari. Kazunari, the 1996 judo champion in Japan, and Bart Vail, the ISFA heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, for our next fight, please welcome from Tokyo, Japan, Murakami Kazunari. Kazunari. Brings some good size into this tussle. Yeah, and he also brings a good reputation. He's the absolute champion in Japan now, in judo, 1996. Uh, I hope he has the skills to do it. And you see the placard there for Murakami. And introducing, from Miami, Florida, Bart Bale. Learn from it. And giving a good example of how extreme fighting is a match of the different disciplines. So some good leg kicks to the body used by Bart Vale. Stylistically, how will he match up with Kazunari? Well, Kazunari is, uh, doesn't punch or kick. Bart does punch and kick. I think Kazunari will be very strong if he gets in close. His hips should be like swiveling. Um, but Bart Vail comes with tremendous skills in all areas. And Lisa Gale, current penthouse pet. There is Bart Vail. How they match up with extreme numbers. Is straight ahead. Kazunari 23, Vale a veteran at 34. The height the same. Weight 244 for Vale. So we would look for Kazunari to be quick and spelt. Maybe Vale to be powerful. But Bart Vale has a big right hand. Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, at six feet two inches tall, 212 pounds, with a career record of seven wins and two losses, the 1996 Japanese Judo Champion of the World, Murakami Kazunari. And on my right, at six feet four inches tall, 255 pounds, with a career record of seven wins and no losses, the ISFA Heavyweight Champion of the World, Bart Bale. Uh, Bart Vail certainly sporting the most colorful trunks we've seen tonight with the patriotic fervor. Stars, strikes, kicks, punches, it will all be here. And look at the, um, the arm length on Bart Vail. You see yes. it? Yes. Southpaw style setup. Kazanari. Kazanari goes right in. We talked, John, about him getting in close. Going behind. He was able to do it. Going behind. This is where Kazanari is going to be good. You said right at the beginning, if he gets in close, that will be Kazanari's game. And he has gotten close and has wrapped himself around Bartville. to utilize his position here. Classic, classic defense. He's not using his elbow to the face, which I thought he would. Trying to break the grip. A little chin wedge. Vale has Kazanari behind him, the fence in front of him. And the camel catching it all. He's gonna try to stomp his feet. A stomp technique, and you get a good look. Sweeps, going for the leg sweeps. We're getting the ankles. Nice heel shot. Good to the knee. There's a lot of technique there. Down low, you know the five shot. Able to make Bale sink with that for a moment. Now that's a counter, actually, Dave. He's trying to get low so the arms open up. Straight arm bar. 
armbar from behind. That's a finishing hold. He's trying to break the arm. Trying to get it done early. Position is everything. Kazanari, has he made the best use of his? Yes. He did the right thing, but he's still breaking his arm. He's got Vail here. Now his wrist. Vail gets away from the hold for a second. Now the mounting has begun for Kazanari. And he's wailing away. But you see his mount is squirrely. It's not the mount of, uh, of a Brazilian. He's going out, out the back, he's got an arm bar. He breaks it. Elbows. Casanari has brought some twists to this very not seen from other fighters. Finally puts the hooks in. And he is doing a number on Bart Vale. Bart Vale, as we saw in the biography, a lot of kicking ability, but not getting a chance to do that so far. Casanari. Warned for the elbow in the back. I think that Bart is really, you know, taking his time here. He doesn't want to get hit much. Bart would like to make it to the end of the first phase. He's going for that armbar again, Bart, but he can't seem to get it. Tough to do it from the position he is in. And he's trying to remove the ankles. Kazanari pounding. He clutches that arm like he's going to go for a wrist lock, but I don't see him going for it yet. Maybe he's going to pause and rev on it. Kazanari's worried about it now, though. He's pulling up on it. He's testing the grip. Respecting the grip and now pounding with the right hand and goes to the other side with the left hand. He had to let go because he was catching shots. See, the Japanese don't push their legs through and their pelvis forward to create a better position for themselves. They deny themselves some strength. They don't utilize the position as well. In this instance, a classic illustration of it. That's precisely right. It's more here of a wear down technique rather than strict power on power. Now, Bart should stand up. He's got both his wrists. He's not going to get hit. And Bart stands up. He sensed it. Great recovery from Dale, now the kick. As Bart Dale tries to get into his offense, slamming, has it all against the fence. Now a left knee to the body, a right hand. He goes to work. It's a war. Has it all. Retaliating with an uppercut. A big left hook by Casanari. Bell is down. He saw some fighting there. Boy, this has turned so many different ways. Intervention by the referee. Stop the fight. Taking too many shots. Too many flush shots. Referee's discretion. He's saying he wasn't defending himself at all. And that was it. Well, and the crowd is displeased. Wait a bit. Okay. round due to referee stoppage Murakami Kazunari so Kazunari with the embrace as he was able to turn it around quickly and John we saw a boxing finish to that after he was able to get up and did exactly what he should have now Vela's gotten up he stood up and <laughs> They're wailing here. Well, you see the spatial difference going on here? Kazanari backing off, Kazanari coming in. Two beautiful left hands, I think. Good and hooks coming in. Struggling to get position a little, but look at the shots. Now you see Bart starts to fade a little. I saw his eyes rolling up in his head from this position. And although in the mount position, he did not utilize his strength all the way, watch what happens after Kazanari gets the edge in the punching department. A big left hook to the chin. 
Was that on the button, Dave? On the button. Now he's pounding away. Vale is writhing in pain here and just taking too much. You see the hands come up by Vale, a telltale sign that he had been tagged. He kept his hands up, but his eyes were, uh, you know, looking foggy. John uh, Donahue uh, basically said to me that, uh, that he was out. Too much punishment is the definition. It was John a shot Don to the chin. John Donahue saying to me candidly here that uh, he just wasn't defending himself well anymore.